Chaos Control! Shadow. Shadow. Shadow? And he doesn't have a Chaos Emerald anymore. Agent Rouge, report your status immediately. Have you retrieved the Book of Darkness? Well, I'll provide a full report shortly. Right now, I have a priority situation to deal with. I need to contact E-123 Omega immediately. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to part 9 of my Let's Play of 2006 Sonic the Hedgehog. So, we are in part 3 of Shadow's playthrough. And um, we're starting off with Rouge's Tropical Jungle, which is probably the easiest level. And you can easily S rank this by time bonus alone. All you gotta do is just follow the path I take. Basically, you have to glide and climb to pillar to pillar. Because using the climb abilities, glides you easily get to higher ground. It's basically good to use advantage of it. And using the gliding ability can go pretty decent, but it, you do still drop like a rock like Knuckles. I don't think I ever mentioned this yet. But for some reason, characters drop like a rock. The flying characters do. I don't know why. This is your only point of action, of course. Just destroy all the enemies, just to lower up the laser gate. I want to say that there's a way to get around it. But as of right now, I think I forgot about it, so... At this point, I still got an S rank upon doing this anyway, so... Just take the path I take. Annihilate these enemies. And you're pretty much done with this level, and you get an easy S rank. In approximately 1 minute, 550 milliseconds. And you can easily do that below that, and you can still get a really good time bonus with 49,200 points. What did you think of my beautiful technique? And even the tiny amount will just give you enough for the S rank. Really easy. So, as you all know, as uh, we'll talk more about that, that later. Leave a like in this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're looking forward to more content, and uh, let's not waste too much time, let's see what the rest of this video holds, and let's see how cringeworthy E102, E123 Omega is. This is a charming little place. Hi, long time no see. Rouge the Bat. Situation understood. What would you like me to do? Take this and deliver it to Shadow. System reactivation countdown initiated. Backup power source. Spare magazine secured. Command program priority changed. New mission shadow support. External access no longer permitted. Confirmed. I'm counting on you.
So, decided to void your return ticket now, did you? Why are you here? Did you ruin this world? The answer is yes and no. Perhaps it's better to show you. Yes, that's you. After the world was devastated by Iblis's flames, what do you think happened? A search for the guilty. Who did this, you may ask? Humanity wasn't just jealous of your power. They feared it. They used this incident as an excuse to hunt you down. Come with me, Shadow. Let us punish this foolish world of humanity. It's only fair to give back what was intended for you. You have every right to want justice. That's absurd. Whatever it is you want to do, you can do it alone. You forgive humanity this folly then? I determine my own destiny. Such foolishness. Very well. Let's see if you can entertain me. Alrighty, folks. So it's a battle of a century. The battle of the clones. Shadow versus shadow. Literally shadow versus shadow. Um, actually, no. This is Mephilus, which is basically a dark form of Solaris. And, uh, right now he used Shadow's Shadow to, uh, basically frame a lot of players, uh, to frame a lot of people. And as such, the people who, uh, who was looking for Guilty during the Flames disaster goes to this, goes to this Hedgehog that once tried to destroy humanity before. Or so I ventured to in Shadow the Hedgehog. Which I guess I understand. I feel like Shadow was bad a ton of times in the past. Would have been right that it'd be the same exact reverse excuse. Anyway, so for this boss, what you must do is you must keep on attack these clones of Mephilus that are trying to gather up around you to build up to build up the meter on the bottom right of your screen. Once that fills up, you must push the right trigger to activate KO Ken mode. And as such, Mephilus will have a hard time to read, because, like, Mephilus is hiding inside of your shadow, and as long as you're in your normal form, he can stay there as long as you want. As they build up, they will eventually explode on you. So, definitely take the time to uh, run away when you can. But once you become KO Ken mode, he will no longer be able to read you for a while till the meter runs out. As such, use his chance to take him out and try your best one cycle him like I just did. Now is designated time. I shall assist. Alright, now we're moving on to Act 2 of the entire fight. And now we take control of E123 Omega. And let's talk about this before we even get to his gameplay. Well, actually, let's talk about it now while we're at it. So, he uses his signature shooting ability. He must go ahead, he will basically try to shoot at Mephilus. Like a spam. It's like a pea shooter in some way, and it sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. Let's talk about his actor for a second. So, you know that the four kids actors started at Shadow the Hedgehog. Even then, 
Omega's voice actor pretty much came back from Sonic Heroes, in other words, his first game that he debuted on. But starting this game, now he's sounding a lot more robotic, and it sounds annoying. It sounds really annoying, and I don't know why the change. What was wrong with Omega's old actor? It sounds perfectly fine. Why change it now? Like. Every time I hear Omega with his robotic voice, like, Hello, I am E123 Omega. I am going to eliminate everything in my sight. Ay 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 ay. Come on, Power Rangers. <laughs> uh, shut up, Alpha. Um, anyways, I don't like the actor or whatever whatever effects they use to make the robot voice. Because I don't think an act a normal actor would do that. I feel like it would require like some tech. I don't know. And there's a lot more I want to talk about Omega, but maybe I should probably save it for a level that we will be playing as Omega on, which will be later on, but we'll talk more about that later. It appears Mephilus is no longer here. I will assist in pursuing him. Another boggling question that I want to bring up while we're still in the subject. So, Rouge gave Omega the Chaos Emeralds look for Shadow. I'm not sure how he happened to find Shadow in the future. I want to say that it took a million years, or maybe he had some time traveling device in his own, but I'll leave that up to speculation. Hi. It seems like Eggman's machines are looking for you. What did you do this time? Nothing. Their target is probably Mephilus. What is Eggman up to? Who is Mephilus? I'm gonna ask him directly. Hey, wait a sec. I can handle this alone. You keep track of Mephilus. Hmm. He finally shows up again, and then he leaves before even saying hello. Well, it seems his little trip hasn't changed him. This is Rouge, G-U-N-H-Q? Yes. Pull all available data on an item called the Scepter of Darkness for me. I'm not sure there's supposed to be a sound effect when uh, Rouge put her hand in front of her wrist to uh, to his communicator to talk to um, the, the, the FBI or anything, or the gun. But um, I feel like there's supposed to be a sound effect there, but that completely forgot because of laziness. Anyway, so we need to go to the location that the other two hedgehogs went, like Sonic and Silver. They went to pretty much the exact same location, in other words... We're going to Radical Train. For that, we're getting another memory uh, shard uh, item upgrade, which allows me to pull out a lot more powerful Chaos Spear um, that'll basically deal a little bit more damage. So it's definitely very helpful. Now, instead of, like, breaking in to Radical Train, like, Sonic had to by finding a secret passage nearby, Silver had to sneak past the guards. Because Shadow is the FBI, 
he could just walk in because he has permission to walk in because he works for works for people. Anyways, so here we are in Radical Train as Shadow the Hedgehog. And uh, we are not just going to uh, pursue Leibel's trigger and like Silver. We're not going to be a... Uh, we're not going to be saving the train like Sonic. We're actually doing the opposite of Sonic. Instead of saving the train, we are destroying the train. Mainly because, like, the train is actually Eggman's train and not, like, the train that the uh, civilians or Elise is being held on to. This is Eggman's train. So, you hit a switch, put a barrier up, that's your opportunity to beat the train up. And during this process, of course, Eggman will slowly but surely, uh, will get the barrier down. But after you deal some damage on it, then you move on to the next section of Radical Train. And, of course, this thing is pretty much like Sonic and Silver at this point. And, uh, that homing attack physics sometimes doesn't always work. So now I'm down to my last life, so I know I have to be extra careful. But I think I can work this anyway. So anyways, of course we have to use these uh, conveyor belts. There's like conveyor belts that basically like... Al occasionally alter directions, and you basically have to go with the one that's facing the direction you want to go if you want to get there quicker. But it can also just change on a dime, so do be aware of that. And there's also these balance beams, which again takes place using physics and everything else. This scale is I better just walk across it. So I definitely recommend that you do try to be extra careful because it is all bombless pit. You do not want to fall into a bombless pit. Just like Sonic, there is a time limit. You have to hurry up and like get to the switch before they get away. However, I will say the train does move a little bit slow when getting to a certain checkpoint. They won't always go at a normal speed. So no matter what, like at least you'll be able to somewhat make it and get some progress in. But luckily, it's for a shadow, you only need to take care of two pieces of the train instead of three on like Sonic. That's basically uh, it for the first act. A radical train for a shadow, of course. So using the spring, go themselves inside this tunnel, and of course move on to Act 2, which, as you know, would be Sonic's Mock Speed section. And uh, we're using the motorcycle. Obviously, I like the vehicle mechanic in uh, this game. It's slightly taken from Sonic from Shadow the Hedgehog. But, uh, they did change some, uh, things about them, at least, but, like... They're at least more, like, bulky than anything else. You can easily tilt over if you're not that careful. <coughs> Man, my froze dart sore. But we're gonna get near the end of this anyway. Also, for some reason, when I land there... I'm having trouble trying to un-get stuck from a stamp position when I land there. I keep attacking, I keep pushing the X button to do a kick, that's probably the best way to get out of that. But I run that, like, I don't know. Anyway, so, now we're gonna be chasing off the train. You do definitely do gotta shoot it. If you shoot it, then you'll be able to end the level. I think, like, if it gets to the end, then you can't really win. You do gotta blow the train up, and you will and you do gotta try to keep shooting it before it gets to the end. Once it eventually gets to the end, the game will just end like that. You don't have to go for a gold ring, and you're pretty much good to go. Also, sometimes the motorcycle has some weird collision on the ground itself when uh, trying to chase the train. Because some, for some reason, I guess it starts to slowly take damage if you hit, like, invisible, like, invisible rocks that are on the floor. Not even a challenge. You're just gonna have to work with you got what you got, I guess. But anyways, that's it for that part. See you guys next time for uh, next bit of silver as all three of the hedgehogs meet at long last.